Hey there, science detectives. Welcome to Reading Redness Centers, where we unlock the mysteries of the world around us. Today, we are diving into a secret world of sour and slippery. Buckle up, because we are about to explore the fascinating world of acids and bases. Have you ever tasted a lemon so sour it makes your face pucker? That's the power of acids at work. Acids are special chemicals found in many things we eat and drink, like oranges, vinegar, and even our own stomachs. But how do they work their magic? Imagine tiny invisible swimmers called ions living inside these liquids. Acids have a special kind of ion, the hydrogen ion. These little guys love to jump in and make things taste sour. The more hydrogen ions, the stronger the acid and the sourer the taste. Now, let's talk about the opposites of acids' bases. Have you ever felt how slippery soap feels when you wash your hands? That's because soap is a type of base. Bases feel slippery, and you can also find them in things like cleaning products and even in milk. Bases have a different kind of special ion, the hydroxide ion. They can even taste a bit bitter, but remember, never taste anything in a science experiment without adult supervision. Just like acids, bases have their own team of tiny swimmer ions. But instead of hydrogen ions, they have hydroxide ions. These ions love to make things less acidic and sometimes even a bit slippery. The pH scale, measuring sour and slippery. So how do scientists tell if something is an acid or a base? They use a special tool called a pH scale. Imagine a number line from 1 to 14. Numbers below 7 are considered acidic, with 7 being neutral, just like pure water. The lower the number, the stronger the acid. Anything above 7 is a base, with 14 being the strongest. Scientists also use a cool trick called a litmus test. They dip a special paper, called litmus paper, into a solution. If it turns red, it's an acid. If it turns blue, it's a base. And if it stays purple, it's neutral, just like water. Now, let's talk about what happens when acids and bases meet. It's like a chemistry showdown. When they mix, they do something called neutralization. Imagine mixing lemon juice with baking soda. They cancel each other out and make something totally new. Ever seen a volcano erupting? Well, mixing vinegar and baking soda is a bit like that. It creates bubbles and fizz, just like a volcano. The power of acids and bases. Acids and bases aren't just for sour candies and slippery soap. They play a huge role in our everyday lives. Did you know your stomach uses acids to help you digest food? Or that bases are used to clean dirty surfaces and neutralize spills? Acids and bases can also be found in many household products, from fertilizers for plants to batteries that power your toys. When an acid and a base mix, they cancel each other out, creating a neutral solution, like water. That's the amazing world of acids and bases. Remember, acids are sour and have hydrogen ions, while bases are slippery and have hydroxide ions. We use a pH scale and litmus paper to measure them, and they play a vital role in our world. Did you know some sour things aren't actually acids? Battery acid is strong enough to melt metal, but lemon juice, even though it's sour, is a weak acid. Our bodies are full of both acids and bases. Our blood, for example, needs to stay at a slightly basic level for us to be healthy. Ants use formic acid, a kind of acid found in some ant bites, to defend themselves. So next time you taste something sour or touch something slippery, Remember, you might be experiencing the fascinating world of acids and bases. If you enjoyed learning about acids and bases, give this video a thumbs up. Want to explore more science adventures? Subscribe to Reading Redness Centers for new videos every week.
And remember, stay curious, stay safe, and keep on learning.